People think that epilepsy is divine simply because they don't have any idea what causes epilepsy. But I believe that someday we will understand what causes epilepsy, and at that moment, we will cease to believe that it's divine. And so it is with everything in the universe. Each of the substances of a man's diet acts upon his body and changes it in some way and upon these changes his whole life depends. There are, in effect, two things, to know and to believe one knows, to know is science, to believe one knows is ignorance. The physician must be able to tell the antecedents, know the present, and foretell the future, must mediate these things, and have two special objects in view with regard to disease, namely, to do good or to do no harm. All parts of the body which have a function, if used in moderation and exercised in labors in which each is accustomed, become thereby healthy well developed and age more slowly, but if unused they become liable to disease, defective in growth and age quickly. Leave your drugs in the chemist's pot if you can heal the patient with food. A wise man should consider that health is the greatest of human blessings, and learn how by his own thought to derive benefit from his illnesses. The chief virtue that language can have is clearness, and nothing detracts from it so much as the use of unfamiliar words. If we could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little and not too much, we would have found the safest way to health. It is more important to know what sort of person has a disease than to know what sort of disease a person has. If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. Everyone has a doctor in him or her, we just have to help it in its work. The natural healing force within each one of us is the greatest force in getting well. Our food should be our medicine. Our medicine should be our food. But to eat when you are sick, is to feed your sickness. Positive health requires a knowledge of man's primary constitution and of the powers of various foods, both those natural to them and those resulting from human skill. But eating alone is not enough for health. There must also be exercise, of which the effects must likewise be known. The combination of these two things makes regimen, when proper attention is given to the season of the year, the changes of the wind, the age of the individual, and the situation of his home. If there is any deficiency in food or exercise, the body will fall sick. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. It is most necessary to know the nature of the spine. One or more vertebrae may or may not go out of place very much and if they do, they are likely to produce serious complications and even death, if not properly adjusted. Many diseases are related to the spine, 